What's up YouTube? It's Clown here from my world. This is not a tutorial, but a top five from Skillet's Awake album. <laughs> chose five songs from this album because there's only six songs on the album that I like so yeah five's the best we're gonna get <laughs> Awake and Alive the song which the album is named after the reason why it's in it's the lowest song on this list is just because how can I put this the best way I can put this is it's just a vanilla song. It's not, like, the riffs are cool and whatever, and they're good to headbang too. But it's just kind of bland. It's like, there's not much to it. It's kind of empty, kind of dry. And yeah, it's not very. I just kind of don't get as much out of it as some of their other riffs. The, the verse is kind of boring. Could, there are two cool parts that are pretty good, um, such as the, uh, the pretty bridge. That is pretty awesome to me, but like, it's still not much. So, yeah, and the only part that's really, that really stands out as really cool is the solo, Spe main, specifically this part that I played in the cover. <laughs> Can't quite get the hang of it, but you, get, you know how it sounds. That, the, all in all, it's just kind of a uninteresting song. Still its most famous riff, Monster. Anyone who knows, who's ever heard a Skelet song knows this, knows that riff. And I may be roasting in the comments for not putting it higher since it's so popular. And it's an awesome song, um, but it's too easy and not, and there's only like two good riffs in it, and they're not that good. The thing that makes it above Awaken Alive is it kind of feels like it has some emotion, some color. It kind of feels a little bit less empty and and a bit more moist. I kind of think I kind of get the idea of red, and that's at least be better than just black and white like Awaken Alive. Um, the fact that I think that it makes me think of Jeff the Killer helps a lot. Because that guy is awesome. Not very nice though. But yeah. I do love the riff. Um, when you hear it in the right tune, it just sounds so awesome. And it and like its popularity really helps me and helps me appreciate it a lot more. And she's like it is a really good song. The um, kind of post chorus is a memorable part. Uh, when you do it at the end of the very end of the song, it's pretty cool. It's a cool change. Instead of doing. Goes to five three or five two is always a cool sound in my opinion. But yeah, fourth placed monster, cool song, cool riff, too easy to be higher. I'm gonna go change the tuning. Scarecrow's gonna meet you with drop D flat. So I'll see you at silver. Before we get on with the video, according to YouTube Analytics, only 15% of my viewers are subscribed. Let's change that.
subscribe to the channel so that the channel can grow. Every subscription is major to me. I am happy for every one of you that subscribes. So go click that red button. Enough subscriptions for merch, and I can produce for you my world themed pics. They'll be themed after my logo. And I want to thank Shadow, my subscriber, for the recommendation. Bones goes to. <laughs> Bronze goes to Hero. Three, four, and five are very popular songs in the Skelet community. And I guess for, being, for all of them being the bottom at the bottom of the, this list, May give me a bit of heat in the comments, but I know I do enjoy the riff for Hero. I'm gonna say now that I'm not gonna do a tutorial for Hero or Awake unless someone specifically requests it in the com in the comments. So if you want that, you gotta comment for it. I'm not gonna do that without being asked. But yeah, back to why why Hero gets this position. So, it's a bit mainstream for me, but, like, it's a pretty good song. The first riff isn't, isn't much. Like, but the thing that's, like, best is, like, the main riff. Feels kind of has like a lot of energy, and it feels kind of I don't know, uh, flowing like really free, I guess. And yeah, that's like nice. I don't have a lot to say about it because the song itself I don't really enjoy, but the riff is pr is better than the skill I want than Monster because it's a little bit trickier, especially the verse is a bit. I'm um, hard, but that's one thing I like about the verses. Um, not too easy. That yeah, I enjoy playing that part. It's a little bit. It just feels like you're doing something tricky, which you kind of are. Yeah, that's um. They so the verses like. I like the verse because it's a little bit tricky, and I like the um, main riff because it has a lot of emotion and stuff. Um, obviously the so the awake so when I did the awake solo in the cover, obviously that's not in the actual in the actual song. There's not much left, not much to it, um, uh, the bridge isn't much special, and the other parts aren't special. The, um, part after the, um, right before the first verse is a little bit cool when you play it properly. Sounds kind of, I don't know, haunted, but... That's not very, not too much. The outro has a cool part, kind of cool part at the end. Um, a little bit tricky, uh, but nothing too special. As you can tell, I'm not very enthusiastic for this song. That's one big reason why it's bronze. Yeah, summer 84 is position. A little tricky. Not good emotion, good emotional feel. And a little tricky, good emotional feel, but unenthusiastic, I guess. Clown, we'll see you with bra with silver.
silver goes to It's Not Me, It's You. This song, there's literally only one part of it that is really that good, which is why it's not gold, and that is the bridge. <laughs> And that part is like pretty cool. I got into it with, it with the cover, but I've gone out of it now. Um, and yeah, it, um, the main riff isn't much. <laughs> Like, it's kind of boring, and like, leave nothing in the verse. Like, there's nothing much there, like, it's a very, it's a very, not very good song to me. But, but the bridge is like, it's good enough for silver. But, um, I mean, the first part, the lead for first for the intro is, um, like, tricky, which makes it fun to play a little bit. <laughs> But still, it's kind of boring, the intro even. And this part after the chorus is like a little bit, but still not much. Kind of terrible, but the the um the bridge is good to headbang to, and it sounds really awesome. So it's not me, it's you. Gets silver. Time for an honorable mention from not that for a song that's not from this album. But the riff deserves to be, but I'm not going to play the album or the song, so I want to mention it now and not later. The song is My Obsession from, uh, from an album that I don't think even think I can name, but yeah, it, um, it goes like this. The part of the cool part, well, the two cool parts are this. <laughs> So let's start with that first riff. That. Kind of sounds like have like, like demonic, I guess. Kind of sounds like disgusting in a cool way. And like, gives me a visual of something like horrible or like disturbing or something. So that's really cool. No, not really any other song I've heard really does that. Like, it's uh, really interesting. And then the that main that other riff. That is the best riff for head banging there is. Like, it is just... One of the funnest riffs there is. 
and it's like the, the pace is great and feels like a classic rock riff. With that out of the way, let's go to gold. With that riff being played, the gold position goes to dead inside. <laughs> So, that song doesn't sound as good with this mask on, but without the mask on, it sounds great. And that intro riff is the best. It's just so tricky and like, like I love those tricky uh, uh, riffs. <laughs> The reason I, I had my face off stream and was standing for that first part was because I actually can't really play it that well with this mask on. That's how tricky it is. Most of it is like really good to headbang to. <laughs> That's out of tune. Anyway, this song is easily gold on this album. It it's in my favorite tuning, drop B, and uh, so that helps a lot. It's really it has really heavy um, intro and verse. The intro and verse are nice and heavy, good headbang too. They're really, they're super easy and simple, but that makes them good to hag bang to when you're playing. Cause if they're hard, if they're hard, they're still fun, but you can't hag bang to them. They're looking like an idiot. <clears throat> See, so much worse when you're head banging to a hard riff. And the pre chorus is a little bit cool. The after each ver at the end of each verse riff like sounds really like kind of eerie sounding i think it goes well with the song with the name of the song kind of the uh, lyrics of the song yeah the the chorus uh, i can't exactly remember it i didn't listen to the song before i played before i uh made this clip but that's not the part that makes it spe makes this song special the bridge is also awesome. The correct bridge is also awesome. Yeah, like so that sounds pretty heavy, and um, it's kind of I don't know. It's just kind of like a loaded song, like very energetic, very kind of powerful, I guess. Song, strong sounding riffs and good heaviness, but for head banging, um, like the sum of why it's why it's gold. Good for head banging, heavy, tricky riff, energy, and a bit of hauntedness. Kind of feels, kind of feels like something, kind of calling out from the grave. I think the pauses help it feel like that. Uh, the intro kind of does sound like something kind of coming to life. I guess kind of like rebirthing, the way rebirthing does. And that's kind of like the same moral as this song. If you agreed with most of my list, hit the like button and subscribe for more content from my channel. If you have any, if your opinions differ from mine, leave them in the comments. I love hearing y'all's opinions. Share my channel with your friends. Anyone who likes Skillet, tell them on my channel. The next album that I'll be doing covers for 
will be from Three Days Grace, from my favorite album, Three Days Grace, 1X. It will be amazing, there are a lot of songs on there that I can't wait to play. So, stay tuned till December for that. That'll be coming in December. So, yeah, I'm really excited for that. The next cover I'll be doing after this after this video, after Hero, I guess, um, will be just like you, Three Days Grey. We'll be introducing a new face with the 1X album. If you want to see uh, my covers, click here. If you want to see tutorials on how to play them, click here. And if you want to see the rest of my channel, which will be coming out with a whale shark video, this win hopefully this Wednesday, click here. Be great. Stay awesome. Shred.